Hi. Uh, right, uh, cheap, £130 paper, student quality paints. If you want more details, uh, you can find them on, uh, on Patreon. In case some of you are a bit worried about me uh, 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 doing a trailer and then making you watch the rest of it on, on uh, Patreon, I'm doing both. I'm making videos on Patreon. Some of them are free to view, uh, but uh, I'm still doing three or four uploads to, to YouTube every week and that does carry on. So I don't think I'm uh, going, going all uh, money orientated. I'm not. So, so I hope you don't take umbrage like one or two people have. So there's still plenty going to be new, uh, new work being uploaded. So this I'm going to do a bit of a mountain scene and water with this one. They seem to be popular. So I won't be neglecting YouTube, don't worry. But I will be developing uh, Patreon as well. Because that's in my interest. Okay, when that uh, expands I'll uh, I'll reclip it now. I'm just going to put in a bit of a burnt sienna wash. Perhaps a bit of light red in there. This is an overall, an overall bit of yellow. Wash just to add a bit of uh, warmth in the background. We'll put the clouds in, or some clouds. This is where the water is going to go, so I'm just putting in some bit of red. Bit of yellow. Okay, the brush is splitting, but that doesn't matter. It's a 30 mil hake. I'll just reclip. So there's no need to stretch your paper. Just, uh, just clip it. Right now, a, a, a gentle. Dab into the blue and the red to give a nice cloud colour. Oops, job me board. Right. So we'll just put in some nice clouds. A bit heavier on the top there. We can put a little bit of blue on there, I suppose. Let's go all the way across with that. Now, there's a sort of an interesting wash. It's got a bit, a bit more heavy on the top here. You get all sorts of wonderful sky effects with, with um, wet in wet. You're never quite sure how they're going to turn out. But I just want to repeat that in the water area. Okay. So I'll reclip it again. Okay, so we've got a, quite a nice, nice sky. I'm just going to dry it off a little bit. So bearing, uh, so fast forward or or mute your sound. I think I've got a little bit, that's dried out a bit there before I dried it, you know what I mean, it just from that more graduated. Right, let's dry that.
Okay, that's better. Right. I dried it because it would have gone cauliflowery, otherwise, you know, those horrible hard edges. So let's put in a bit of that background colour. A bit more. And down to the foothills. I'll put a bit of, bit of uh, burnt sienna in there. I can put some darker tones in there, so it's still awesome, isn't it? But I think our weather in London is going to, going to change very soon. It's got very really cold this morning, and it's going to be even colder over the weekend. But the days will be quite nice. We're reliably informed. Let's have a bit of blue somewhere to see. A bit of distance. Behind that. Right, well, let's put in some more dark. My favourite colours are ultramarine and burnt sienna. level going up a little bit there so let's just flatten it out a little bit okay I'm not going to go near that line there I might put some fields and stuff in there but I want to um, just uh, get this I don't want to do that when it's wet because it will spread all over the place Oh, we can put a bit of green in there, so a bit of, bit of yellow. Okay, we'll still go down here a little bit. Oh, I'll put another bit of a beach coming across here. I've done this so many times that I'm sort of almost on autopilot with it, but. They all they all end up different. So a bit of burnt sienna, uh, some raw sienna there. Clean the brush a bit more. You need a cloth handy to um, soak up the extraneous water on your brush. My new subscriber from uh, the Philippines, sorry you, oh, you find it hard to understand me, I think I, I find it hard to understand me as well. Put a bit of green on there. Grasses sticking up. It's a bit marshy. Bit that. A 
lot of that won't show because it's down in the uh, behind the mount if it, if it ever gets anywhere. A bit sold. Right, we can add little bits of uh, grasses to that with the rigger a bit later on. Okay, we're still going up the hill there, aren't we? Uh, well, I can uh, water. Now I know what I'll do. Mm. It's not too bad, is it? I can always tilt it in the mount a little bit. Let's get that nice and fit. You can really yank on this sort of paper. Look. I don't know if this is a rag paper, it probably isn't, this is quite cheap. Right, let's let's put in a bit of a something on on here. Coming up with this. Let's disguise it. Another little bit of an island. Warm colours as you come to the foreground. It's dark in there. I like the marshiness of painting water, so I like Seven Islands ponds because when we've got a lot of water in the pond, or well, the lake, small lake. The uh, covers the grass. You can some of the grass shows through. Then and it's nice. It's a lovely painting subject. Okay, that'll do. So we're just coming around here. Let's get some dark in there. Some some blue and sienna. Why well, that's wet. Just a bit of texture. This brush is ideal for this sort of work. Uh, but I, I'm repeating myself a bit, so I'm going to just put some more solid stuff in this one here. Okay, that's a bit better. Just on the bank here, just 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 a bit, a bit of texture. Okay. <coughs> so I think we've sort of solved. I'm going to put a bush in there, I think. Sort of an autumny bush. So we can disguise that corner. I'm, as you can see, I'm making love as I'm going along. Let's have a bit of a bit of umber in there. We'll have some darker stuff down there, a bit of paint grain with that. Shadow. Now, it looks, if, if I mounted that, that would look as if I fitted it in to the actual shape of the mount. But, so I'm going to take that off the, off the board there. Now because of the, the, the hake is small, look, it's, it's, it's got a sort of a manner of all of its own, which I don't like that bit. Right, let's put in some good darks now. Bit of paint's grey. Right, that's a bit better, I think. Now we've disguised it. 
Yeah. Okay, so that, that'll do for that. <coughs> um, what we're going to do next? Uh, that's, I'm just waiting for that to dry, but I, I think when that's about dry, I'm going to put a very, very faint, some very faint fields on there, on that uh, slope. So just a, just a slightly darker version of what we've got. Uh, let's just. Then we just come underneath here for a bit of a bit of shadow, a bit of show sort of um, walls or whatever you want, really. Okay. Sort of do that's uh, bring it behind there. I'm hoping that'll all go to nothing. So let's get a little bit of uh, trees on there. Okay, that, that'll do. It's, it is spreading a little bit, but uh, if I dry it, it might stop it from moving. Right, there's some detail on here. I'll use the rigger for that. All just says grass or oh, stuff just sticking up. Bring the reflections in. Okay. Bit of shadow in there. Okay, I don't think I want to do any more. Oh, we've got a splash up there. That's going to be a bird. Oh, it's come out. A bit too high for a bird, really. Yes. Right. Uh, nothing else, I don't really to do 
I've got a couple of spots here. Okay, I'll just put a signature on it and uh, put it in a mount. Just a quickie for a Saturday. My, my morning sort of went today. Okay, right, well, let's uh, put it in the blue mount. So I'm at the door. Well, my wife's in the garden, so I'm going to say goodbye to you now. Thanks for watching, folks. I've got to go and answer the front door now. Bye-bye.